Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell where you will see more great videos like this. So today we're going to make a vase or a vase, however you want to pronounce it, out of a bezier curve. Okay, so we're going to rotate um, on the Y, rotate Y, 270, boom, like that. Just going to pull that out a little bit. We need to move that center point. Um, 3D cursor. So we're going to object set origin, origin to 3D cursor. So our little 3D cursor is moved to the center there. Um, now what we need to do is go in to modifier and add the screw modifier. We need to put it on the X. Well, in this case, it's on the X axis. Um, so we just go to edit mode and then we can edit these um, nodes, vertices. So this one here, I'm going to extrude on the Y. Just going to bring it down G on the Z. Oh, that's not working. Okay, and then I'm just going to make these smaller. And then this one smaller. There we go. So there's our base. Uh, we've kind of got, got like a little bit of a curve going on. So this is where your creativity comes in um, and you can pretty much do anything. So in order to make this like taller, just hit the E button to extrude. Um, and you can pretty much do oh, damn it. E extrude. And then you can pretty much do anything you like really. I'm just gonna move this one down. And then we can move that down. like so that's quite a nice uh, shaped um, let's sort this bit out here we need to bring that G on the X G on the X just to close that up and then G on the Y and there we go we've got that closed and what we can also do, just need to straighten that up. We can actually take that out. That's our base. And that's our pretty much our vase done. Obviously you can carry on, make whatever shape you like. Um, we also need to add a solidify. Um, Da, da, da. like that so you've got a bit of uh, thickness to the to the vase the vase um, also what you can do is if you stay in object mode go into objects and then you want to convert um, you want to convert mesh so you want to convert it to a mesh from a curve okay so now you've got an editable curve like so um, and then also you can add your materials let's bump that specular up so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And we will see you on the next video. Ta-da for now.